Well, hey there, YouTube. If you want to learn how to not sing, watch this video. And what I mean by that is too many of us as singers are doing a bunch of weird stuff that isn't singing. We need to just speak the words and have a conversation. This video is inspired by a voice teacher reaction video that I just did to a song by Nightwish, the song The Islander, the singer Marco Haetala. Uh, Hietala. I just Google translated this. He's a wonderful Finnish singer. I Finnish sing, mm -mm. I've never heard his name pronounced, so I'm doing the best I can, so please forgive me. It's probably really wrong, but it, it's probably sort of close. But anyway, he's just a, an amazing singer. And he's, he's inspired this video, actually. And what I mean by stop singing is stop doing all those crazy things that we have all done in the past to not just communicate and speak the words. Okay, we're going to get on with that in just a second. As soon as I tell you who I am, in case you don't know, I'm Mike Goodrich, creator of the Inner Singer podcast, Inner Singer singing programs, all things Inner Singer. And uh, there you go. That's the introduction. So let's get on with what the heck I'm talking about. We've got different registers in the voice, right? Just like gears in a car. So we got first, second, and third in a car. We've got, let's say, chest, mix, and head voice. But let's just talk about chest and mix. So, chest is a low, mix is higher. So, like first and second gear, and that's what we'll talk about. So, if I am singing in my chest voice, it's as if I'm speaking, right? Very easy to speak. If I'm singing in my mix, it's also very easy to speak. But if I'm not in my mix when I should be, and I'm pulling up like that, really hard to speak. It just ends up as a big fat yell. So, the song in question I'm talking about, The Islander, and the passage that I'm talking about that Marco sang so amazingly is an E flat four to an A flat four, A flat here. And he's playing his guitar and singing and the voice is glorious. Big, strong voice, vibrato is amazing. And his mouth is basically doing nothing. Just looks like he's talking and this amazing voice is coming out. And it inspired me because I thought, you know, so many of us are doing so so much to get up to these high notes. And we don't realize that all we have to do is speak in the proper register. Okay? So the lyric to that tune is, this is for long forgotten light at the end of the world. So it's this. So now, if I were to not be in my mix, I can't speak it. And I'm going to go, this is my life, oh and I'm going to be just yelling, right? It sounds horrible. Now, if I'm an octave down in my chest, very easy to speak. This is for long forgotten, light at the end of the world. I'm just talking, but I have vibrato. If I had a little more feeling, this is for long for God. I'm still talking. Light at the end. I'm still talking. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So why would I do anything differently up here an octave up? Well, the only reason would be is if I have not accessed my mix. And if I'm pulling up my chest voice, I'm hosed. You know, I can't, I can't do that like that. I'm just going to be yelling and screaming, and it's not going to be fun for anybody. Now, in that, he also then sings up to a G, up to the C. So, and he sings those Gs so easily because he's in his mix. And he's not going, he's got one progression that does this. And he's not going... Ah, uh, 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 you know, and it's very, very, ah, 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 it's very, very relaxed. It's very conversational, and it's going through these different registers, second and third gear, without doing any of that stuff. So that's what you want to be able to do. And you can absolutely do that, but you need to have some tools and some exercises generally to help get you there. 
So knowing that the first principle is that you want to release out of your chest voice into your mix, it may be better to start with something on the lighter side, something like a hum or what we call the squeaky door. And then you can take that and if you hum, put your lips together and you have your teeth apart like this. And you can take and do this arpeggio. It would sound like and you can really hear the tone. It's not going it's going it's releasing right then. Right? Same thing with the squeaky door. And the way you find the squeaky door, just the edge of the chords come together in chest and you inflect through. And so you take that little edgy and go. And it's a really great way to get from your chest up into your mix. Now, as that's working, then you need something that picks up a little bit more weight, right? So you can use no, which I love. No, 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 no. You can use mum, which I love. Mum, 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 mum. And what you want to do is you use these tools, and you can use them in exercises like the ones I'm doing now. But you can also use them in your songs. You can take the passage, let's say a difficult passage of a song, and you can do that exercise or those exercises to it. Don't, you, don't worry about the lyric yet. You want to get into the place where you are isolating the register that you're in and, in essence, speaking in it. So let's take this line before that we did. Let's let's use a couple of these exercises. So let's use the hum first. So lips together, teeth apart, and I go. Okay. Now next we use the squeaky door. And remember, I'm already pretty much starting in my mix on that E flat four. Okay, then I use the mum. And then I ride that with the lyric. This is wrong, forgotten, light at the end of the world. And I just start training myself to be able to speak in that register. Probably should have breathed <laughs> at some point in there, like. <sighs> but anyway, so just like I'm down here. This is for mm, 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 mm. same exact thing, right? So the principle here is that you got to know where you are in your voice, right? You got to know what register you're in. Are you in first gear, second gear, in your chest or your mix, right? And then you approach it. You've got to have a tool that helps you be able to approach it very conversationally, very much like you're speaking. One little tip that I'll give you. If you watch Marco sing this song, you'll notice his mouth is really not doing a lot. So that's another little tip that people don't realize. If I'm down here, this is for long for my, my mouth. I'm just conversational. My mouth isn't doing anything. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. Why would I do that up here? Why would all of a sudden I get up here and go, this is my life for God. Why would I do any of that, right? Because I don't need any of that. If I'm, this is my life for God and light at the end of the world. Now, I'm not saying really loud, obviously. 
But the point is, you don't need a lot of this. You need some for resonance, right? You need to, you need to have a resonator that will accommodate the tone. But so much of that is an inside job that doesn't really rely on us doing any of that. You know, every once in a while, of course, we need to accommodate that on a loud sound, depending on the vowel and what have you. But generally speaking, a lot of us are opening our mouths way more than we need to. And we're doing it because of these compensatory muscles in a high larynx that we're trying to get out of the way of and doing that instead of actually just just having it be easy. And that really helps us honor our bridge. If we close down a little bit like that, it's a lot easier to get to the bridge. What happens when I do this? I'm yelling. No, I'm not yelling. See what I mean? This is going to just pull me right out of it. It's going to yank that chest and not let me go up into the mix. Okay? So that's another tip. Be very conversational about these things. And watch your mouth. Don't do this. Okay? I've got that as a thumbnail for one of my videos. Probably should be the thumbnail for this. But anyway, make things conversational. Okay? And use these tools that I talked to you about. Men and women, it works. Totally. You'll do it in different parts of the voice. But take those tools and use them on difficult passages of songs. And know that, okay, in this passage, this part's of my chest, this part's of my mix. And use them to work it like that. And you will be amazed at what you're able to do once you identify the challenging spots, right? The part where you want to do this. Where would that part be here? Where would that part be that if I didn't know what I was doing, instead of allowing it to go in where it needs to go, I would do something? Well, it's probably right about here. Certainly by here. So if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to go, oh, I'm already out. Oh, uh oh, right? If I don't know that it's, oh, 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 if I don't know that that's where it goes, right? If I don't know to allow that to happen and I'm, and, and I'm just in survival singing, then I need to open my mouth really wide, right? Okay, but if I'm not in survival singing and I'm expecting what's going to happen, then I can allow that and be very free and conversational here and just express the words and the emotion. I'm not using any of this to try and get the pitch, right? We don't want any of this employed to try and get the pitch. We don't need anything to assist us, okay? And if we're using those things to assist us, we got to eliminate that and just get down to what pitch making is all about, okay? Anyway, this video is long enough. I am going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. Really do these things. They will really work wonders in your voice. If you'd like my free singing accelerator video series, which has three videos, count them three that I made myself, um, Three, there it is, three. Uh, a video on the magic of vowels, which is vitally important and will help you be very conversational with these things and help you to be able to identify the mix and how to get into it. Then um, I've got a singing in the brain video, which is awesome about the mindset, really, really important, equally as important as technique. And I've got a performance video. Again, without these three pillars, you're hosed, right? You gotta have them all. I think I said you're hosed twice. Well, I guess that's three times now. Um, so anyway, if you'd like my free ebook, The Five Biggest Mistakes Singers Make While Singing in Their Mix or Belting, and how you can avoid them, those links are also, uh, or that link's in the description, as well as the one for the video series. Please subscribe. I love it when you subscribe. It's so fun to watch that go up. And um, hit the bell for notifications. Your comments have been um, amazing. Amazing. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. You, you guys are educating me so much. 
And uh, I'm loving reading your comments and uh, you kind of can like, let me know what you want me to do. Uh, what you want me to stop doing, what you want me to do, uh, anything you want more of, anything you want less of. Okay. And uh, like, thumbs up if you like it. Somewhere around here, there's uh, video recommendations. Go watch them. And uh, why not? Okay. I'm out of here. I'm hot. I got to turn on the air. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.